have over a trillion bacteria that coexist with you. Huh? You are outnumbered. Don't worry, these bacteria constitute your microbiome. Most of these microbes are good. These microbes are found in our airways, skin, reproductive, and gastrointestinal tract. The biggest population of these microbes is found in our gut. There are over a kilogram of bacteria in this location. The microbiome helps us to stay healthy by regulating metabolism, aiding with digestion, and shaping our immune system so that it can work effectively. Scientists have found that diversity is the key to a healthy microbiome. The microbiome is first inherited from our mothers at birth. It continues to be shaped through exposures in early life. And these include microbes from food and the environment in which you live. There are a lot of factors that can change your microbiome and stop it from working properly. For example, diet, antibiotics, and pollution can change the composition of our microbiome. Scientists think that these factors may result in less or altered microbiome diversity. Such disruption has been associated with the development of chronic inflammatory diseases. Since the microbiome is intimately associated with our immune system, scientists believe that an unhealthy microbiome could lead to inappropriate immune responses and inflammation. Many factors in the North American environment might be contributing to an unhealthy microbiome. This includes lower exposure to pathogens, increased misuse of antibiotics, and introduction of antibiotics into the food supply. Scientists are also looking at other exposures, such as C-sections, less breastfeeding, and diet. Whether all these factors can make us sick is an active area of research. All of this is very new, so we have a lot to learn about microbes. What we do know for sure is that the microbiome is important to our health. At the University of Toronto, a team of scientists under the Connaught Global Challenge are investigating how the microbiome might change when people migrate from South Asia to Toronto. The team will look at how the microbiome is altered in response to global migration and how this could lead to chronic disease. This is called the Gemini study, generational differences in environmental exposures caused by migration, impact on incidence of inflammatory disease. Want to learn more about the study? Check out the Gemini website.